So this question looks like it's going to be a simplify question. Simplify questions are typically very short, between one and three lines long, and contain either an equation or an expression. We have an equation here. We also have an expression here. The question says, if the absolute value of 4x minus 4 is equal to 112, what is the positive value of x minus 1? All right, what is the positive value of x minus 1? So the reason why it's asking for the positive value of x minus 1 instead of just the value of x minus 1 is because anytime you solve a absolute value equation, you're going to get two answers. In fact, in order to solve, we should break this into two separate equations, one without the absolute value sign and the other also without the absolute value sign but with the answer here changed, right? The sign of the answer is switched. So instead of positive 112, we will have a negative 112. And I'd like to just remind you that the reason why this is the case is because the absolute value, which I'll put in red now, of any quantity turns that quantity positive. So if the quantity, 4x minus 4, equals 112, absolute value of that keeps it positive and it's just 112 which is this option here however if the quantity 4x minus 4 is equal to negative 112 well even in that case the absolute value of it will still turn it to a positive 112 and this is why we have this case this scenario here so let's solve this i'm going to add 4 to both sides here i'm left with 4x equals 116 i divide both sides by 4 I grab my calculator. Maybe some of you don't need to use your calculator here. I like to use it just to make sure I'm correct and don't make any small errors. So 116 divided by 4 is equal to 29. So in this case, x equals 29. And in this case, I add 4, add 4. And realistically, I'm not going to even continue solving this one. The reason being that I want the positive value of x minus 1. This is going to be, give me x as a negative number. Right, so even if I did solve it, um, let's just do it, 108 divided by 4, 27. So in, this ends up giving me a negative 27. All right, but I want x minus 1. I want the positive value of x minus 1. So I'm going to use x equals 29 as my x value. And therefore, 29 minus 1 is equal to 28. So my correct answer here is 28.